All right, I think. Just two viewers. Uh, hold on, I'm just trying to uh, fix something here. Just a second. All right, so it's three viewers now. Um, just a minute. Let me pull up the the live chat thing here. What's up, Fisherman, Florida? What's up, Austin? What's going on? SDJ Outdoors. I added you to the thing, so if you want to come on, come on on. But uh, we're talking tackle today. Um, you guys want to talk tackle? Go ahead. So, uh, what's going on? How many we got viewing? We got four people on right now. What's up, Creek King Fishing? We got five people watching. Man, we got some people on. The MD Outdoors, what's up? Come on, Kyle. What English, Kyle? What are you talking about? Oh, the MD Outdoors is on. Sweet. Six people. Can you sub to me? Yeah. As soon as this is over, I will sub you. All right. So, uh, SDJ, why don't you tell them a little bit about your channel, I guess. Okay, right, guys. So, um, I do a little bit of hunting videos. Um, there's no season right now. Um, so, I post ice fishing videos, um, some full wheeling videos. Um, I will do ice. Uh, no, I will do fishing videos in the summertime, spring, pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn. Um, I'll hope to post more of them this summer, um, hunting videos in the fall, scouting videos, uh, shed hunting videos, but that's all. Sweet. Yeah, I'm about the same. I do a lot of fishing videos. Uh, I didn't hunt that much this year, but I did hunt a little bit, so uh, I will be doing some hunting videos. We got a question here from Joshua. He said, what's your favorite jig to use? Um, I like the Strike King, uh, oh geez, what are they called? Um. Are they football head? They're football head, but I forget I forget what they're called. Uh, shoot. Well, they're they're straight king. I like new tech jigs as well. They're uh they're not bad. So um Yeah, MD Outdoors, I will check it uh, as soon as this video is over. I uh, I actually watched it earlier. Um, so Do you two have a fishing? What's what's a fishing? <laughs> 1K views in 24 hours. That's great. That's actually really good. If you can get that, that's pretty sweet. What's your favorite lure in the creek? My favorite lure in the creek is probably a rooster tail um, or a small buzz bait. Um, I tend to catch more fish doing it doing that that way. Um, you ever fished in creeks? Um, I don't do much creek fishing. Um, I do a lot of brook or river fishing for trout. 
Um, I will use some trout lures, but uh, mainly in, if I'm fishing in a stream, I will use night crawlers or dilly worms. Sweet. Do you two have someone you prefer to fish with? I normally love fishing with my dad. Um, I don't have that many friends. I mean, I have I have uh, one of my friends named Zach. I fish with all the time. Um, but a lot of my other friends just uh, don't like it as much as I do, I guess. So uh, it's not really fun because they don't take it seriously. But uh, me and my dad fish a lot. Um, I agree with you on that one. I fish with my dad. Um, I have a friend who I've known before. Er, his mom and my mom knew each other before we were born. Um, but he loves fishing, and so we'll go. I'll go with him over the summertime. But Sweet. With uh, my father and stuff. Do I have a sponsor? No, I do not have a sponsor yet. Uh, I'm working on a few people right now, but uh, I'm just working right now on growing my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not really worrying about sponsors or anything right now. I'm trying to hit at least 1,000 subscribers before I even start anything like that. So, Do you know what trout mag is? I don't trout fish. Do you know what trout mag is? Yeah. Um. I use those for ice fishing. Um, I caught a big sunfish on those, um, but they come in all different colors. Like I saw a whole row of them at Bass Pro. Like, what's he asking for? How do you fish them? He just said, "You know what trout mag is." Yeah. So yes is my answer. Also, we have a pro staff member staff. Once we hit 1K subscribers, so it helps us. Nice. Nice. What kind of boat do you have? I'm getting a StarCraft. Um, I do not have one right now, but uh, I'm getting a StarCraft. I just watched. I just started watching some of your vids. Who is the other kid? Uh, the other kid, uh, he owns SDJ Outdoors, so go ahead and subscribe to him if you haven't. Pepsi or Coke? Gotta be Coke. Pepsi or Coke, pick one. Pepsi. Pepsi. What's your biggest bass caught? Mine was a little over ten pounds. It was freaking huge. And I caught it in a I caught it in a pond. And it it, it snapped off and I jumped in the water and grabbed it and it was huge. Boy. I wish we had a Nice clear water so I could actually see the fish. The biggest one I've caught so far is three pounds. Still pretty um, big for that. Yeah, at the local pond. I have, haven't have really been fishing at any bigger lakes quite yet, but now that I have a boat, I can. Or I had a canoe, but now I have a boat. But my biggest fish is a 21-inch pickerel. Nice, nice. Uh, smallies or largemouths? I prefer smallies. I largemouth fish all the time, and uh, I small smallmouth fish about once a week in the summertime, and love catching smallies. Um, have you ever had a Dr Pepper? Yes, I've had Dr Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fight smallies put up. Oh yeah, I fish. I fish creeks all the time by me, and they are just loaded with smallmouth. I mean, the biggest smallmouth this year I caught was probably maybe close to five pounds, but still for a smallmouth, that is freaking huge. My dad caught a three-pound smallie. Yeah, they're 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 pretty big. Yeah. We got ten people watching. What type of boat do you have? Um, I will. Uh, I'll pull it up right now. I'll just show you a picture of it. I'll text my dad and ask him what kind it is because he he's the one getting it. Well, uh, while you're doing that, I have a 14 foot, not John boat, but um, don't know the brand of it, but like, think a five horsepower motor, trolling motor, four seats, nice boat, like 70s, I think. Nice, that's that's nice. Yeah. Got it for cheap. Is Abu Garcia Black Max a good starting baitcaster? Yeah, I used uh, Abu Garcia for a little bit. Um, 
and then I picked up a lose tournament MG and I was throwing it a little bit and I've used that ever since. I gave uh, the black one away. So my dad said the boat name is the Starcraft 196 Fishmaster. We went to a boat show here um, in Cleveland, here in Ohio, and uh, looked at it and it's an, it's an awesome boat. I've been making so many videos and reviews on it. It's going to be great. Yeah, I like smallies. I caught a two-pound smallie in a two-foot deep creek. Yeah, this creek I, I walk is – it gets really, really deep in some spots, but then it gets really, really shallow. And I've caught my biggest fish in, like, the most shallowest water. Smallies put up a bigger fight than largemouth. They do. Can you do a giveaway? I'm doing a giveaway. I'm going to be making a video on uh, – my giveaway was going to end at um, 1,000 subscribers, but I'm going to make – I'm going to end it at – uh, 530 subscribers. All you guys will really have to do is follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is hook them fish with three uh, H's at the end. Um, but uh, all you have to do is that and then follow me on Snapchat, which I'll make a video tomorrow and post it. But uh, if you want to uh, get a, you know, do it before everyone else, my Instagram is hook them fish with three H's. And uh, my Instagram is Kyle underscore Blazina, B-L-A-Z-I-N-A. So if you want to go and ahead check, and do that. Check out my Instagram. I did give him a shout out on there. So Yeah, go ahead and check his out too, SDJ Outdoors. Um, if you guys want to see a boat review, I got a small boat review on my channel. So go check that out. Why does everybody like baitcasters? Um, my opinion on that is just all the pros and everybody uses it. I mean, that's how I started using baitcasters. I saw a lot of you know, big name people, uh, some really, really big name people uh, that were on YouTube, like Scott Martin and, you know, Kevin Van Dam and everybody, they were all using them. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, uh, I was gonna, you know, buy one and now I have five. So I have two spinning reels and five baitcasting reels. So I like them. Who are you, good friends? What? I think the best starting baitcaster to lose Speedsful. Yeah, I have one. It was about $50, $60. It wasn't really that expensive. The lose term MG was like $120, $150, somewhere in that price range. Um, do you like one rod, one reel? Yeah, I like him, but I just don't understand how he's growing so fast. I mean, I really don't. I mean, he makes. I mean, he just makes GoPro videos like off his GoPro, and I mean, that's that's about it. My first uh, bait caster was the yeah, Abu Garcia Black Max. So. Yeah, that's what that's what this one. Uh, who said that? Uh, the then I moved Creek on King to. Fish and said that. Then I moved on to the Silver Max, but I kept both of those. So. I started with the Black Max and the 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 uh, the drag system. I couldn't figure the drag system out, so I gave it away. Um, or that's that's in the giveaway. You can put heavier line on them than a spinning reel. You can. Um, when I'm using my spinning reel, I I normally go to twelve to to uh, fourteen or sixteen pound amount of filament. That's what I use. I use uh, I jig little worms and like buzz baits and stuff like that. So if I'm gonna throw that, I'll do that or heavier braid. Yeah, I like kicking their bass TV. Yeah, I love kicking the bass TV. I like watching Noah. What is your most expensive rod and reel? You can go ahead and answer that first. Um, that would probably be the uh, the Silver Max and the that Silver Max combo with Bass Pro. That was like over ninety dollars plus. Um, yeah, I had that was after I bought the Bill Dance combo. And I had gotten a spinnerbait stuck in a tree, and I was shaking the pole back and forth, and the uh, the gearbox can uh, piece fell into the water, and yeah. I returned it, and uh, yeah, I got that, so it didn't cost me as the ninety dollars plus, but it helped me. Yeah, it's it's a. My my most uh, expensive one has got to be uh, the worm and jig rod, uh, the cellulose worm and jig rod that I was using. 
Um, I just made a review on it today. If you guys want to go look at it, uh, go ahead. It's it's in it's my last latest video. Um, I have a lose carbon fire uh, reel that was about eighty eighty five dollars. It was on sale, and then I bought this Shimano Celius uh, rod that was like maybe one hundred fifteen one hundred twenty five. It's pretty darn expensive, but you're gonna have to spend a little bit of money to, you know, to actually notice a difference from like, like the cheapest big caster out there to, you know, and real expensive one. So you have to, you know, kind of work around with it. Um, I started with Abu Garcia, and I didn't really like it that much, so I uh, went to lose, and I love lose. I haven't used anything since. And if you guys want to, uh, if you guys want to buy expensive fishing stuff, I recommend. Buy what you feel like you want. If you want good quality stuff, um, buy more expensive. If you want cheap quality stuff, then buy it for cheap money. Um, but it could it could help you in the end if you buy. Yeah, like I have a, uh, I have a, these these spinning rods that I use are Saint Croix six six medium heavy spinning rod. And uh, I have a Mitchell Series Pro 308, um, and I absolutely love this these combos. Um, and uh, you know the 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 rods are one one twenty five, one thirty dollars, and the the reels are about the same price. So, I mean they're they're pretty darn expensive, but you're gonna have to spend a little bit of money to to really notice a difference from buying that or just buying a cheap ugly stick at Walmart. You're, there's gonna be a, you know a real big difference. I'm not saying the ugly stick won't work. I'm just saying that you'll you'll notice a big difference between. You know, like the gear ratios and how smooth the the reels are and stuff like that. So, Bass Pro bait casters are what I started with. They're pretty good for a starter. I have the Johnny Morris carbon reel, light reel, and a couple others. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, I see those at uh, Bass Pro a lot. What's a good name for my YouTube fishing channel? I'm changing it. Um, something unique. Um, I wouldn't make it like anything that involves anybody else's channel. I'd make it like. Uh, I don't know, like, I didn't see anybody on YouTube named Hook Them Fish, so I just, you know, thought of it. Um, you can, uh, you could, you know, just don't don't have it, like, make a unique name. Like, One Rod, One Real Fishing is a unique name. I think that's how he grew. Um, a lot of the other people who, like, copy him and stuff like that, it's not, that's not good. I mean, you need to you need to make up your own name. Like, SDJ Outdoors is, you know, that's a made-up name. That's not copying, like, Fishing with Flay or something like that. So, I mean... You gotta kind of go along with that. It's not like COB4, fishing, what's up? fishing with Sawyer, but I mean, fishing the Midwest. And... See, like that's a unique name. You gotta, you can't just copy that name. You gotta like come up with your own name, you know. So, I, you like fishing recently, with Flair? Yeah, I watch him all the time. Go ahead. I recently heard a kid mention, "Hey, it's fishing the West, East, North, South." Oh, actually, I'm fishing the entire something yeah well i'm just saying you can't you can't copy like everybody's channel you have to you have to come up with like a creative name like one rod one real fishing is a creative name that you know came up and you know everybody just kind of noticed that you know and like fluke master that's a really good youtube name it's it's nobody is going to think of just fluke master that's going to be my name you know, you just have to, you got to kind of think a little bit and, uh, you know, you'll, you'll come up to it. Hey, Limitless, what's going on? Hey, welcome back. Like my name. Yeah. Like the Limitless Outdoors. That's, that's a unique name and nobody, nobody would think of Limitless Outdoors. That's a, that's a unique name. And I, I talked about that in my last live stream, the one before that. It's a great name. I like it. Do you like JJ's magic? I mean, I mean, it's it's already made up. I mean, just whatever you want. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you, you know, not to do it or whatever. But uh, you know, whatever, whatever, basically, whatever you want. Um, I'm not gonna stop you from doing any name. Like Creek King, Creek King Fishing is perfect. Like I wouldn't change that because it's unique. Go ahead. What you were gonna? The say. only thing mine got started was my initials. My whole like. I wanted to do a thing where I could have a team of like team SDJ outdoors, but my brothers, my dad, they, we all had the same initials. So I just used my initials and then it's not like SDJ hunt. 
hunting. It's yeah, outdoors. Yeah. Like you could do something that has to do with outdoors. Everybody has a name to be outdoors. I went fishing with Peel and Drag today. Yeah, you Snapchatted me. That was pretty cool. Um, I want to start talking to him and maybe do a live chat or something with him. He's pretty cool. I love his videos. I saw you on a Snapchat story. Yeah, it, it, he's really cool. Yeah, it, it, I mean, don't hate on him. I mean, if he wants the name, you know, JJ's Magic, I mean, it doesn't matter. But, uh, you know, just just come up with your own name. Don't try – Don't. I wouldn't suggest copying anybody. Um, but, I mean, just come up with your own name. And, uh, you know, you – you can't just come up like, say you type, make your name like one rod, one reel catching or something like that. You can't expect like if you do that to have your channel grow. You just got to like work on your videos and like get people to like your videos and stuff like that. Do you ever travel places to fish with friends? No, but this summer I'm going to um, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm going with a couple of my friends, so I'm going to fish a little bit there. So. Do you know the project product JG's Magic? Yes, yes, I know the product. Hey guys, um, you been watching? Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, SDJ's channel. Just, just letting everybody know. Follow him on Instagram too. He's already mentioned yeah, that. Yeah, follow right. me on Instagram. Uh, hook them fish with three H's at the end. Somebody took hook them fish on YouTube. We caught around 70 gills and two crappie. That's that's really good. You guys keep them? You got to keep them, right? You got Pizza Hut delivered to the pond. That's awesome. I, I would have to – I would say cook your food on that one. Do you only fish? No, I hunt. Um, I shed hunt, if you guys don't know what that is. A deer – a buck loses antler every year, and you go out and look for it. Um, I hunt, I fish, I basically do anything. I play sports, um, basketball and baseball, but uh, that's uh, that's about it. Yeah, I do like the product JJ's Magic. I do. I uh, I don't have any right now. I used uh, a couple of that uh, of JJ's this year. Um, the chartreuse game. I keep seeing a blonde kid on your channel. Oh, that's CJ. He's a uh, me and him started the uh, Hook Them Fish together a while ago, um, and we're continuing to grow it and grow it. Um, so I'm going to try my best to have him in more videos. He was in the uh, – the which video was it? The Tackle Room. He was in that one. Uh, yeah. But if you guys want him, I'll let him know that you guys want him in the chat. I'm, I'm following all you guys back as well that you're following me on Instagram with. And if you guys follow me, I'm not going to be those guys that you follow and then I don't follow back or unsubscribe. Yeah, yeah. Like, ask um, the Limitless Outdoors and all them. The people that ask me to sub sub back, sub for sub, I do sub. So don't be afraid. Yeah, but what I'm doing with the Instagram thing is I'm going to have you guys follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And uh, what it's going to be is I'm going to change my giveaway to 530 subscribers instead of 1,000 because I think that's too much. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to 530 subscribers. If I get 530 subscribers in one week, um, I will draw the winner. Um, if I do not get 530 subscribers, I will wait until I get 530 to draw the winner. If I get over 530 subscribers in one week, I'm going to do a tackle warehouse order. I'm going to unbox it. And as soon as I get it, I'm going to wrap it back up and send it. I'm going to draw a name and send it to whoever whoever gets it. I think that will be kind of fun. And then I'll do, like, other giveaways and stuff as well. But that's going to be my main one. What videos do you guys want us to post or me or just hook them fish? Other than unboxings, giveaways, reviews, any other video ideas for me or him? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. It's kind of hard. I mean, doing reviews and stuff is fine, but it's winter. If you guys want to see, you know, any other videos like the trick shot videos or anything like that, let us know and we'll, you know, try to make it happen. TJ was like in no videos for six months. Did he not want to be? Um, I filmed a lot more than him. Uh, I hung out with him a ton. He lives like three, four streets away from me. We hung out a ton. We, we just never really made videos when we went fishing together. And uh, I went to different spots and he didn't come with me. 
So, I mean, it was it was kind of hard. Um, he does have videos on his phone that he does have to upload, but uh, he's too lazy to upload them. And uh, I get like that sometimes. But uh, I'd laugh if I won the giveaway. You never know, dude. Maybe. Yeah, me too. Real maintenance tips for storage would be good. What do you mean on that? Like, for my bait casters, what I do in – Actually, tell me what you mean by that. Like, what do you, what do you mean by real maintenance? Like, what, what do you want to know? Um, I just filmed a uh, cleaning a reel video. Uh, that'll be up either tomorrow or, or probably in like a week. Um, I'll have that uploaded. But uh, do you have any real maintenance tips? <clears throat> no, I do not. But I've known that keep your reels clean if you want them to work like Especially, I've had a couple of my reels fall in the water. Um, yeah, me too. Me and too. sink to the bottom, and I've had to grab those. So, and I've had to clean them thoroughly after that. But. What's up, Nate? My Instagram is hook them fish with three H's at the end. Hook them fish, all one word with three H's at the end. We got eleven people on. Nice. Uh, but I'll go back to the real maintenance thing. What I like to do here, I might as well just – where's that drink from? It's uh, it's Taco Bell. <laughs> but uh, I'll grab a reel and show you guys. I just made a video. But, uh, I'll grab one real fast. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so this is, this is the Lose Carbon Fire reel here. Um, there's a couple different things I like to do in the – off season or basically any time when I'm uh, when I'm you know cleaning these reels, the first thing I'll do is this the silver part. Let me see if I can get that. You see the spinning part right here? This right here, that's the spinning part. You got to make sure you get like a Q-tip or something in there and get all the crap and guck out of there. There's always at least something. Mine was really really dirty and I've only had this for like two months, and uh, I cleaned it uh, and made it look pretty good. Second thing is this little screw right here. You uh. You unscrew that until it pops out like that. And then this part here on the side, that part comes off. So you clean the ball bearings and the gears inside there. You take this off and clean, you know, this part and stuff like that, and then clean inside, inside there. And uh, you'll get a lot of crap out, and uh, it will uh, it will really um, – how do I want to say it? It will really, uh, like, help your – rod and reel you know go smoother than like it's been so <clears throat> and all you do is just screw this back in got to go later king fishing who saw your is that you yeah oh uh cob4 is looking for you he said get sawyer for me all right what's, what's he want I don't know. He just. Let me look at these comments. I can't. I just went on to the video on my iPod and I couldn't see any of the comments. So. Yeah, there's a thing that says live chat, and on the bottom of that, it's. I see a couple lake fishing videos. What are the biggest fish CJ and you have caught in there? Um, we fish. We live up here in Ohio, so we fish in Lake Erie, and. Uh, when we're when we're basically fishing, we're fishing for, yeah, SDJ. They want your kick. Oh. Okay. All right, but uh, we we fished in Lake Erie. Um, I fished for sheephead, largemouth, smallmouth, walleye, uh, steelhead, perch. Um, the walleye, steelhead, perch, um, and uh, smallmouth are the main fish that we catch in our lake, and uh, there are some big big catfish in there as well. Um, Excuse me, but uh, that's uh, he said it's Colby. Who's Colby? Okay, guys, that's, that's, that's what it is, right? No. Just look at my um, search my name and you'll find me. How do you do a Q and A live stream? Um, it's actually really, really easy. Uh, I didn't know how to do it. You go to YouTube, and then you go to my channel, and at the top it will say subscribers. 
you click on subscribers and then on the left hand side it will say dashboard video manager live stream community you click on live stream hit events hit add events up here on the right hand corner you schedule your your event and then like a little bit before your event starts you go over to your events you hit start broadcast it will count down or it will count up from one to a hundred percent and you hit start and uh everyone should sub to me sub to limitless he won't leave you alone if you don't <laughs> morgan get off of this it's my sister crazy all right where can i see the comments now if you go to the video um let me see here do you see at the bottom where it says live chat um do you see the, is that oh, on the bottom of yours no. Go to the video. Mm. Yeah. Hey, limitless. We'll do a live stream. Get get uh, peel and drag, and me, you, and him will do a live stream. I want to talk to peel and drag. Ask him sometime if uh, he'd want to do one, because I think that'd be really really cool if we could all do one and sit down and talk. Guys, we're gonna try to get. Um, Upper Bay and Pond Bassmaster to do one with us, so. Yeah. We'll try that out. I think it's better doing videos with, like, the lower, the lower people, just learning how to, like, do YouTube, like me, Pond Bassmaster, yeah. you know, uh, SDJ, other people, instead of, you know, trying to you know, do the bigger people or the bigger channels. There's no point in doing that because, I mean, they. They'll take it over. Yeah, limitless. Talk to talk to Peel and Drag, and uh, me and SDJ will do it, and I'll talk to Palm Bassmaster and stuff like that, and we'll try to all do a live chat together. You guys are blowing up my Instagram. Holy cow! I I noticed that. Like they were just hitting you off. It's alright. I'm gonna make that video though of. Uh, Here, mute, mute, mute your uh, iPod. Turn your volume all the way down on that. Who, me? Yeah, because it's like echoing. Oh, I got it. Got it. I got the comments now. One more time. Sorry. How do you do a Q&A? All right. It's very, very easy. You go to YouTube.com, obviously. You go to my channel, which my channel will be on the left. Um, and then what you do is you go up to subscribers. Where it says subscribers, it'll say either zero or however many subscribers you have. You click on subscribers, and on the left right here, it will say Creator Studios, and it will say Dashboard, Video Manager, Live Streaming, Community Channel, Analysts, and Create. You click Live Stream. Once you're done clicking Live Stream, uh, you hit Events. In the right-hand corner up here, it will say uh, Schedule or Start Event or something. Um, you click that. You set your till in any description that you would like, and then um, you just hit add event. So you get out of that until whenever you want your event up. Say you want it from five o'clock to nine o'clock, or five o'clock to six o'clock, or anything like that. Say you get on at five o'clock, you hit start broadcast. It will start from one percent all the way to one hundred percent. Then it will start, and then uh, you're good to go. Can I be in a stream? Yeah, you can. Just let us know. If you want to join, you can join. Um, who films you fishing? Um, my dad normally does. CJ does. Um, I have two or three tripods over here. I'm filming with my phone right now because I just got this brand new Canon HD camera. And it's really confusing because I got this new editing system. Um, and um, I'm really starting to uh, put in comments. Bye. Is Austin mad or something? He just like left. He followed me, I think, on Instagram. I don't know. I'm getting off. I'm tired. All right, later, Limitless. Thanks for coming on. SDJ, what's your Snapchat? Austin asked you. I don't know if he's still on here. Um, SDJ Outdoors. SDJ Outdoors. Make sure to follow him, and then mine is Kyle underscore Blazina, K Y L E. Oh wait, maybe it's not. Actually, hold on a minute. Yeah, that's it. 
That's your that's your Snapchat. Kyle underscore Blazina, yeah. K Y L E underscore B L A Z I N A. So if you guys want to follow me on that, um, you guys can if you would like. CJ said he just started watching the stream. Join. I'll have him join. He said he can't. Maybe he can't. We'll schedule something where we all where we all do a thing. Okay. Yeah, a couple people got off. I don't know how many people are gonna, you know, still watch this, but we'll go for a little bit and see what happens. So Oh, Austin just, he just texted me. Hold on. Snapchat, Kyle underscore Lazina. S. So we got six people watching, which isn't bad. Isn't bad at all. If you guys want to know anything, it doesn't have to be fishing related. Just go ahead and comment whatever you want. Um, so. Would you rather shoot a mule deer or a whitetail? Got to be a whitetail. Um, I, uh, I whitetail deer hunt. Um, I bow hunt. And uh, favorite lure for dock fishing. Dock fishing, um, there's a couple different lures that you can use, mainly jigs. Jigs can be a good one. If it's hot out and it's summer, a buzz bait could work good because you can flip that buzz bait underneath there. A chatter bait could work um, at times. Worms I've could work, luck. like big worms. Go ahead, go ahead. I've had luck with pit bosses. Yeah, pit boss could work. But I'm yeah, jig. So. Uh, Austin, I'll add you next stream. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now, but because your name wasn't coming up, but I'll add you next time. Or wait, no, I can add you right now, actually. Text me your uh Oh Manny Bates just started following me. Oh he doesn't have a computer. Well he can't you can't join hey, if you don't have a computer. It's so laggy. Yeah. So uh, if you get, like I said, if you guys want any questions asked, it doesn't have to be fishing related. Um, chocolate or glazed? Chocolate. Chocolate. Favorite plastic? Favorite soft plastic? All right, my favorite soft plastic of all time has got to do, got to be the Zoom finesse worm. I love the Zoom finesse worm. I fish it all the time. Um, uh, I Texas rig it. That's all I do. I'll Texas rig it, and sometimes I'll put it on a shaky head or a wacky rig. But mainly, I'm um, Texas rigging it. I catch tons of fish. I like worms. Yeah, <clears throat> worms are a good way to uh, catch some catch some fish. So I have so many different kinds of worms. I have Berkeley worms. I have uh, Gambler worms. I have freaking Zoom worms. I have so many of them. I saw crutches in one of your most recent videos. Which video was that? I know CJ was on crutches for 
a while. He broke his or he had hip surgery. I had hip surgery three years ago, two years ago. He had hip surgery this year, so. Have I ever caught a snapping turtle by accident? Yes, I have. I um, let's see. I was fishing for catfish in this one big pond, and uh, I had I cut a bluegill up and cast the bluegill out. And I was riding my four wheeler around the, my property down in southern Ohio, and uh, I came back and my rod was gone. Like it was gone. It was it wasn't even there, and uh, I started casting with my other rod and I caught it. And it was a real. It was probably about a 20, 30 pound snapping turtle. It was huge. What about crankbait? Crackbait? Are you crankbait? What about crankbaits? What do you want to know? But uh, if, any, if there's any new people on here, um, this is SDJ Outdoors. I'm Hook Them Fish. If you want to follow us on Instagram, his is just SDJ Outdoors. Mine is Hook Them Fish with three H's at the end. Um, so go ahead and do that if you guys want. Tell them about picking worms at night. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you guys need to, you know, save money or you don't have, like, the money to go out and buy worms or anything, um, SDJ, I don't know if you've ever done this. What you do is you go after it rains, like, in the in the summertime. Um, after, when it gets dark uh, and it stops raining, though all worms come out. And, I mean, all, so many worms come out. And you can hear them coming up in the holes and everything. And you go outside. I caught about almost a hundred dozen in one night. I caught 100 dozen in one night and used those worms for like the whole summer. It was crazy. I saved so much money on worms. That's a great way to, you know, catch worms. Go out there with the flashlight in a bucket and just go ham on it. It's great. I'm very familiar with that. Yeah. Favorite kind of crankbait. I like live target. Um, I do like, let's see here. I like the Rapala um, flicker sheds. Um, let's see, what other crankbaits do I use? I was just using crankbaits. I like the Strike King 1.5s. Um, those are good ones. CJ said crutches. <laughs> you got any topics that you want to talk about on here, SDJ? Um. Least favorite school subject. Um, my least favorite school subject is probably school. I hate school. I honestly hate going to school. It's terrible. Um, but it, least favorite school subject would probably have to be social studies. Um, right now, I do not like social studies. I like math, but math is so boring for me. Yeah, math is too. Math and social studies are like my two boringest classes. Oh, writing class is boring for me. Writing class. But uh, you got any uh, topics you want to talk about, fishing related? I guess. Um, I recommend in the summertime. You guys probably all know this. Um, I've fished early, early in the morning, and I've had probably my best luck. Um, I it comes down to I don't know what's the best time. Um, for me, I've had luck either morning or evening time um both the times work but it's not like ice fishing where probably most of every day or most of all the hours out of the day work for me um in the summertime when it's hot and humid early morning is the best um, yeah when when i fish the rivers and stuff i'm when it gets light at like seven o'clock i'm normally because it's about an hour and a half drive i'm normally out at like five o'clock i'm up and we're gone and we're there like maybe a half hour early and it's dark. And uh, that and in the evening, as soon as it gets dark or right before it gets dark in the evening, it's a great time. My dad said uh, Rapala X-Wrap. The Rapala X-Wrap, I, I caught three huge bass, probably a little over five pounds um, in these creeks. The last or the first week of December, I think it was, or the last week of November. It was great. Top water tips, Austin said. Top water tips. Um, I can just say early morning and late evening buzz baits in the summertime are great. Um, spooks in open water. I like poppers in open water, which is kind of surprising. 
Um, I love frogs. I love fishing frogs and weeded grass. Um, tiny torpedoes are good. Um, so Colin, Colin Colton said, uh, what was the first fish you ever caught? So go ahead. You can answer that one. I, uh, that was a trout. Trout. Mine was probably either a largemouth or a, uh, um, bluegill or catfish. Have you ever fished a tournament? I have not, but, uh, we're getting our Starcraft boat this year, hopefully either this year or next year. So, uh, I'm definitely going to be, uh, trying to enter at least a few tournaments a year in that. So have you ever fished tournaments? No, I have not. Um, I'm hope I want to do an ice fishing derby that's coming up. Um, but I'm hoping to get into some derbies this year or tournaments. Um, yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, I, I see a lot of people doing tournaments and stuff like that, and I'd always, I've always wanted to do one. Um, but uh, my time will come when that comes to that. I can't really fish a tournament without a boat. <clears throat> I mean, you can fish bank tournaments and stuff like that, but. Will you and CJ do high school tournaments, uh, tournament fishing? Um, I don't think our high school actually has a tournament or a fishing, uh, anything related to fishing. They're all, all they're worried about is freaking detentions and suspending people and being right. I mean, I, my school is, they don't have anything that involves anything like that. All they're about is sports and all their other clubs and stuff like that. Fishing has never been there, so. My high school just started a bass fishing team, so. I look forward to that next year. I would love to – if there was bass fishing at my school, I would totally – yeah, like uh, Colton said, I would start my own uh, high school fishing team. Me and my friends started one this year. Yeah, I, I would love to do that. I'd have that dream to be wearing that jersey and, you know, out there fishing. It'd be great. So let's pick something to talk about here so we don't just sit here. Um, you got anything to talk about or anything like that? Um, just to gain subscribers on YouTube for all those who need help. Um, good quality camera, such as a phone. GoPro, um, any action camera that has HD. Um, something's up with your camera. Some, something's up with your audio, dude. Can you hear me now? Yeah, but it's really, really laggy. It's, uh, it's like, it's like, you might want to turn your volume down a little bit or something. I don't know. It's, or get away from the camera a little bit. It's really laggy. Okay, so, um, you don't want um, so you want an HD camera, you at least want to post videos twice, once to twice a week, not, um, once every month. That doesn't yeah. really get yeah. YouTubers' attention. Um, yeah, you want to, like, you want to be constant with your videos. Like, I was, I wasn't doing that great with my videos a while ago, um, but now I'm going to be posting. I'm going to at least do two videos a week. I don't know. I'm going to do two videos a week in a live stream um, just to keep, you know, content posted. But uh, you don't want to be the channel who uploads, like, three videos in one week, maybe one video the next week, and then stop for, like, three and four months. You know, you want to you want to keep keep content posted. Even here in the wintertime, like, these live streams, when I first saw these live streams, it's a, it's a really good idea and way to keep your channel going and, you know, keep – you know, talking to your subscribers and stuff like that, and it's it's really it's really cool. Hold on, we got Letta. Look at that Bass TV. That's that's what he changed his name to. That's not a bad name. It's not a bad name. You should try to start a high school fishing team. Me and my friend started one this year. Okay. Yeah, we already talked about that. It's pretty easy. You just need a teacher sponsor to help. Yeah, I've I've seen a couple people make videos on how to do it. To be honest, I would love to do that. Um, I really would. Me and CJ would do it. We'd be a fishing team. 
Look at that Bass TV. It's not a bad name, though. But the, like we were talking about with the YouTube, um, the videos, you want to keep content posted. You don't want to just, like I said, post three three videos a week, say, post one video the next week, and then maybe wait three, four months to post another video. You want to, you know, keep your subscribers, like, you, you want them to want you to make a video. Like, for example, Fishing with Flair, Fishing the Midwest, any of those guys, One Rod, any of those guys who, uh, you know, post videos, I can't wait for them to post videos because I just, I love watching their, uh, I love watching their videos. So you want to make your subscribers want to watch your videos and not just be like, oh, he posts another one. Let's see it. Watch it for like 30 seconds and then get out. So you want to have good content videos as well. Talk with expression. Don't be like, and here's another episode with SDJ Outdoors. I hope you enjoy. Put some enthusiastic. Easy ism into it. Yeah, yeah. Or music like the video that you did today. That was a good one. Yeah. I need a lot more subs. You can't you can't just ask for subs. It I get that question a few times. You can't just ask for subs. Um I mean it's one thing to have a lot of videos and ask a few people to sub to you, um, to come check out your videos or like post a picture and say, Come check out my channel. You have to have content on there. Um, I haven't looked at your uh, page yet. Look at that bass out TV. That's kind of hard to say. Look at that bass TV. Um, but uh, you gotta you gotta build your channel. Like I never did any Instagram or asking people to you know follow me on anything. I just kind of basically did my own thing. I did a giveaway, kind of grew a little bit, and then I started doing more and more videos, and more and more people started watching me. And um, now as I'm doing these live streams, you know, more and more people will like you know commenting and liking liking these videos, and I. I feel like that's I'm growing. I'm not growing super, super fast, not as fast as I would like, but I'm uh, definitely making progress. Are you and CJ the same age? CJ's a year younger than me. I'm in ninth grade. I'm 15. He's in eighth grade and he's 14. So. Any other questions out there for you guys? I started last month. Yeah, I'll definitely check out your channel. Look at that Bass TV. I'll, I'll definitely check it out um, as soon as this live stream is over. What time do you want to go to? It doesn't matter. You can you can get off whenever you whenever you want. Uh, I got low battery. Um, I can. I'll probably stay on until maybe, yeah, I don't know, 10, 30, something like that. If you have to go, it's, it's okay. I don't have to go yet. All right. I got school tomorrow, but I'm not tired, so I'll stay on for a little bit. Do you use your phone? Um, a lot of the times this year, I did use my iPhone. I have an iPhone 6. I uh, did use it to film a little bit, but I got a new Canon HD camera with a brand new editing system and the editing system is like impossible. I'm still every day I'm trying to figure it out, but uh, it's literally impossible. I can't even figure out how to get music in the background. It is so hard compared to iMovie. Like I use <clears throat> here on my phone. It's, it's so hard, but uh, this, this uh, year I'm going to do a, uh, do a video um, when I go fish and I'm just going to film all of that with my Canon camera and then just come home and spend like a week just editing it. So, what do you film with? Um, I film with an action camera and my iPod because those give me the best quality. Yeah, I, I have a GoPro as well. I, I filmed with that a little bit. Um, but my phone, my phone was 780, and uh, I don't understand it. Sometimes it's 780, sometimes it's 1080. It's just 4, 420. I mean the the video qualities, I, I'll download it in 1080 and it'll come out as 420 or something, but I don't know. Are you gay? No, I'm not gay, Joshua. <laughs> oh, he followed me on Instagram. <laughs> what do you edit with and how do you make an intro? That's a good question. Do um, you want to go with that? you want to start? Um, well, 
since I just started getting into photography and editing, um, I use Windows Movie Maker for right now, um, but I'm going to download a more extreme editing software. Um, for an intro, um, I forgot the website, but uh, if you go on after this live, live stream, go on to how to make a intro, and uh, there's a really good website out there, and it's easy to use, and just follow along with that, and it can help you. Yeah, I use, uh, I uh, have jumped around with a little bit from doing that, because I thought how I was doing it wasn't really good, but I started improving it a little bit. I use iMovie, just right now I use iMovie. Uh, for Apple, um, I use iMovie for that, and then I just make my intros in the beginning of every video. I don't like keep one for like a certain thing. I just whatever fishing footage I have there, or like what else I have on my phone or something like all my fishing videos. I'm gonna download all onto this computer this year. So like if I want to go back to like like my dad caught two bass on one bait um, earlier in the season, and uh, I don't have that footage anymore. I had to delete it because I didn't have enough space on my phone. So, uh, so, um, you know, I need to, I need to keep it on my, uh, you know, computer. What's your favorite baseball team? Got to be the Indians. Uh, I don't watch baseball a ton, but, uh, if I was going to be, it was, it would either be the Indians or the Yankees. So Red Sox. Red Sox. What's the other guy's channel name? It's SDJ Outdoors. Nate. Do you know what a scum frog is? Do you know what that is? No. Yeah, neither do I. Is it like a topwater frog, maybe? I, I've never heard of it. It could be an underwater frog. I have a Z-Man. I have Z-Man frogs, and they're rubber, and they float, and they're like, they're popper frogs, but they're soft plastics. They're pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so if there's any more people watching this, um, I've said this a couple times. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram. His is SDJ Outdoors. Mine is Hook Them Fish with three H's at the end. Um, so if, if there's any new viewers on here, which it's, it keeps bouncing from seven to eight, um, go ahead and follow us. It's a soft plastic frog popper. Yeah, uh, Z-Man makes uh, soft plastic frog poppers. Um, I have a few up there, and uh, all you do is Texas rig it. With no weight, cast it out and just pop it, and it's it's actually a great bait. It lasts you forever. Dude, what are you using to record now? This is a HP. It's an HP computer. I know that it's one of the newer ones. I'm so bad with computers. I have no idea. Um, but uh, it's it's a good one. If you as long as you have a webcam, I'm pretty sure you can edit with anything. So, uh, That's nice. I have an HP two. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great computer. I love it. It's really good. It's really nice. I like it. Guys, comment video suggestions for us to make. I mean, I I have a few videos coming out next week, but uh, it's a. Uh, I want to know what you guys want to see. I don't want to post. I mean, I'm I'm obviously going to post a little bit of what I want to see, but mainly it's what you guys want to see. If you guys like want any want to see anything, or have any uh, you know video suggestions or anything, let me know and let SDJ know. Um, you know, I don't I don't want to just post videos you guys don't want to see. If you don't want to see, you know, I don't know, like say I post a vlog or something. If you didn't want to see that, I wouldn't. I I don't know. If I necessarily wouldn't do it, but if you guys want to see videos, let me know and I'll make them. Have you ever been hooked? Yeah, I uh, I was flipping a topwater frog in my uh, in my yard one time, and uh, I grabbed it, and when I flipped it, it went straight through my hand, 
uh, straight through my hand and out the other side. Um, it came right out. It was brand new Spro popping frog. It came right out. It was bleeding like crazy. But uh, circle hooked through my leg. Man, that sucks. All right. What? Low battery life, so thank you guys for watching it. Thank you for letting me in. No problem. We'll do it um, again. We'll definitely we'll do have it again. to do this with a bunch of other guys next time. Mm. Yep, we'll definitely do it again. Alrighty, guys. All right, later, dude. Okay. Um. Yeah, back to the circle hook thing. It uh, it really, it really uh, it's bad. Bye, SGJ. Yeah, he's uh, he had to go. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on here for. Maybe till 10:30, something like that. So if you guys want any last questions before I sign out or anything, let me know. How are you doing this? Um, you go to it's it's a live stream on YouTube. You go to YouTube subscribers, uh, live events or live streams. You add a. Uh, really easy. I thought it was really hard because I couldn't figure it out, but uh, I YouTube it real quick and learned how to do it. But uh, uh, I'm going to schedule or I'm going to do a lot, uh, live stream this week with Upper Bay Bass. And I'm going to try to get Pond Bassmaster in there. I'll probably have CJ here with me. Um, so he'll be on one of his computers. But, uh, yeah, so if you guys have any last questions or anything, comments, concerns, anything you want, uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, let me know. I'll definitely uh, answer any questions you guys got. But uh, if not. I'll uh, go ahead and log off for tonight. But the uh, live live streams are good to uh, keep puck, keep content on your uh, page. Um, live streams are a great way to, you know, interact with everybody. Um, you know all the subscribers you know people may comment uh, a lot on one video um and you know not get your questions answered live streams are a great way to do that so you uh won't have to leave anybody out so i'm thinking about getting lose reel yes uh i recommend lose reels i have the i have a lose carbon fire right here this is this was a newer reel la uh, last year lose carbon fire it's a uh, it's a great smooth reel um i take care of it and i just got this and i got a worm i put it on my worm and jig rod and it's uh it's a great rod to use so i definitely recommend uh definitely recommend uh lose products um but it's kind of like your opinion on it um if you're just starting out um and not looking to spend a whole bunch of money i would uh, recommend getting the regular 50 60 70 dollars somewhere in that price range uh speed spool it's just a regular eighty dollar speed spool um somewhere in that range i don't i don't really know the price um but uh it's a great it's a great way to start if you're going to south carolina yeah me and my uh, neighbor and my sister's friend and my dad and grandma and a whole bunch of other people are going up there um so i'll probably do a whole bunch of fishing up there as well um i didn't get to fish there a couple years ago so i went when i went um because i wasn't as much into fishing as i am now but uh definitely definitely make vlogs and uh fish there i'll be in myrtle beach in july that's when we're going we're going in july um i've never fished there but uh we're going sometime in july so the one i'm looking at is the lose american hero yeah i've seen that um i kind of wanted to try it out and review it and you know go fishing with it um i'll probably end up buying one of those um but if it's a if it's in similar price as the MG, I'll probably just buy the Loose Tournament MG. If you're looking for a really, really good reel, the Loose Tournament MG and the Loose Carbon Fire are like the best reels that I've ever used. And I used uh, Fish of Flage, Shimano, um, Quantum, uh, Abu Garcia, and Shakespeare. Yeah, Shakespeare. And I, and Loose. And I've just, I've stayed with Loose. Have to go buy a later COB4. Thanks for tuning in tonight, dude. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're going around that actually. To be completely honest, I think we're I'm going around that. 
Colton. So if uh, uh, let me know, I'll let you know for sure. The Knot Country Trail Ride. I've never tell me about it. I've never uh, never heard of it. Sixty dollars on Tackle Warehouse. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do a Tackle Warehouse order. Um, I had this giveaway that I said I was going to end it a thousand subscribers, but instead I'm going to end it at about 530 to 600 somewhere in there. I'm not really sure yet, but, uh, if we get that in a week, um, I will draw the winner. If we don't, then I'll just wait until, you know, we get to 530. Um, but, uh, I feel like that's going to be a, a, a good way. So Morgan, get out of here. You're so annoying. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah. And then if we get above that, um, if we get above 530, I'll do a Tackle Warehouse unboxing. Um, I'll make a $100 order there. So, All right, guys. I'm probably going to go till about 1015. Uh, I'm not going to stay on too late. So if you guys have any questions, anything at all, before I leave, um, go ahead and ask me now. So uh, anything at all, if you guys want to know anything, just let me know. It's here. A bunch of people go ho riding horses. It kind of sounds familiar, but uh, I'm not really sure. I don't think I've ever heard of that, to be honest. But um, <laughs> we dropped big time. We had a lot of people watching, but now it it says uh, three three viewers or two viewers. But uh, make sure to check out SDJ's channel. Make sure to check out my channel, Hook Them Fish and SDJ Outdoors. Um, uh, I'm, I'll be posting twice a week and then probably having a live stream once a week. Um, in my opinion, what's my favorite lure? My favorite lure has got to be either the Rapala x Wrap or the Zoom Finesse Worm. Now, the Zoom Finesse Worm changed fishing for me this whole year. I caught so many big bass this year on the Zoom Finesse Worms, and uh, that it was just crazy. I mean, I caught so many fish on those. It was unbelievable. Um, but uh, got to be in between those two baits. So, like I said, I'm only going to go for about five more minutes. Um, so if you got any last questions, like I said before, just let me know. And it's getting late. I got school tomorrow and stuff. So <clears throat> we had quite a lot of people on here though tonight. It was a good live stream. A lot of people on here tonight. A lot of comments too. I like that. <clears throat> I'm getting off. I got to do homework. Great video and keep up the good work. Thanks, Colton. Uh, he's been on here the past three uh, three streams. Uh, I appreciate you coming on. Um, means a lot. So, uh, like I said, the next one sometime this week. I'm thinking about Wednesday um, or Thursday doing one because I will upload a video. I have a video coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow and Sunday I have a video coming out. So, I'll do a live stream in between those two sometime. So, thanks for watching, Colton. See you later. Say we have three watching right now. So like I said, it's 10 15. I'm gonna get out. One sec, hold on. All right. Stay on. Yeah, I'm not I'm not getting off yet. Uh 10 15. I'm gonna get off somewhere around there. If you guys uh if you guys haven't seen, go over to uh, my my channel and watch my new video. I uh, reviewed uh, this reel and uh, this Shimano rod, this white Shimano rod right here. I went ahead and reviewed that. So uh, if you guys want to check that out, and then tomorrow, let's see. Tomorrow I have um. It is how to clean a bait caster tomorrow. I have that video coming out, and then 
Thursday, I'll probably have a stream Thursday or Wednesday. And then Sunday, I'll have how to organize your soft plastics. And then I'll have a bunch of surprise videos for you guys coming every Tuesday and Sunday. And then probably a live stream every Wednesday or Thursday, something around there. So it only says one viewer now. Um, it was, I had a great time tonight. Uh, went on here with SDJ. Uh, I'm going to try to arrange something with Pond Bassmaster and uh, Upper Bay Bass. And, and then I'll have my friend CJ on here as well. And then uh, SDJ probably. Um, I, like, I like doing this and interacting with the younger the uh, the younger YouTubers. It's me, Austin. Like my name, Grab That Bass TV. Yeah, that's a, that's a great name, Austin. I like that. That's that's a that's a really good name. When it comes to YouTube names, you guys want to think of like creative names and stuff like that. So, but uh, what I was saying is, I'm gonna try to do a live stream with them this week. If that doesn't work, um. I'll probably just do it with me and CJ. I'll arrange one with him, and me and him will just talk about ramble on about crap. But uh, I like doing these um, in the off season. Just changed it. Nice. I like doing these in the off season, and it uh, you know it helps keep keep uh, you know people informed. And if you guys have any questions or anything, you can just uh, talk to me face to face. You know, on this. And uh, if you if any of you guys want to do streams with me, let me know. <clears throat> I'll be happy to do streams with anyone. Um, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for tonight. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, make, make sure to subscribe to me and STJ's outdoors channel. Um, and, uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, hook them fish with three H's at the end and then, uh, follow SDG outdoors on Instagram. Follow me on Snapchat, Kyle underscore Blazina, B L A Z I N A. Um, so later, grab that later. Awesome. Um, and then, uh, I will, uh, like I said, have that, how to clean a bait caster reel tomorrow. Um, I will post that probably, I might do it at school. I might have enough uh, time to do it at school. Um, it's like an eight minute video, but, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys, uh, Matt does vlogs later, man. Thanks for uh, tuning in. If you ever want to stream, shoot me an email, Kobe. I'll definitely do that. Um, well, we got five people in here now. Man, we had one person when I was on here. Now we have five. Um, Matt does vlogs. I've seen uh, I've seen a few of your videos. I like them. They're pretty good. Uh, if you ever want to stream with me, shoot me an email. Kobe, I'll definitely do that. Uh, I'll definitely uh, hook you up. Um, I, we're all going to grow at a certain rate, and uh, why not do it together? Um, why not, you know, all interact and talk? Like this one guy I was on here with yesterday, he uh, – he was he hunted like two three miles away from where I was hunting, um, which was actually pretty cool. But uh, you meet new people. Maybe sometime maybe sometime uh, you know we can you know go fish together or something like that. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, new videos coming out this week and uh, plenty more to come. So uh, make sure to subscribe and like all those Instagram and, and uh, Snapchat and uh, follow me on you know everything else. So thanks for watching, guys. Tune in for more videos, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.